Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a full guide to quests in the new update and what you can gain from them. So you guys may be wondering, how do you do quests? So in the new main menu, you can now spawn at Skrena. So go ahead, spawn there. So if you look around, you'll see NPCs everywhere, but you'll also see NPCs with the little question marks on them and you can talk to them. Right here is the Russian that you can talk to. On the screen right now, I'll put up an image with all the talkable NPCs that you can go to. Go ahead and screenshot that if you need it for the future. So, for example, this guy right here. If you talk to him, you can either figure out about him, or you can say, is there anything I can help you with? If you decide to help him, he will give you a quest. As you can see here, one of our elders here is regularly bringing ammo crates to a relative village, blah, 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 except. Boom. As you can see in my top left, it has a 15 minute timer for me to do this quest. Okay guys, so while I'm doing this mission time lapse, I'll explain what you gain from quests. So far, what you confirm to gain is money and XP, from around $200 to $800, and around $200 to $1000 XP, as far as I know from the missions I've done. So, now a question that's been asked by a lot of people, what is reputation? The reputation system allows you to do certain quests, and uh, I think I said as far as I know so far, but to gain reputation, you have to bring hostages back to FOB from any location. To lose reputation, you merely have to kill civilians. Some quests, they do not let you take the quest if you have too low reputation. It will simply say you have too low reputation and you cannot do this quest. So, you want to make sure you are not killing civilians anymore if you want to do quests. And you also got to make sure to save them when you have the time. If, however, you have not killed civilians in a long time, then you can simply do the quest with no problem. Okay guys, so I've just arrived at a spot where I have to deliver this little cargo at the back of my jeep to this location. So basically, what I'm going to do is at first it's going to tell me in the top left corner, so that's how you know you are doing the correct operation. So as you can see, it says drive delivery to the end destination, 10 minutes and 30 seconds left, and deliver here, and it says it's then within 20 feet of me, so I'll just simply back into it, and boom, I just did a mission. So, that's how most missions are, just drop and goes, you pick up cargo, drop them off places, but some missions involve combat, as you can see I gained 600 cash and 200 XP from that little drop. So, there is PvP and, and just driving uh, different quests that you can get. As far as I'm aware, the PvP ones are a lot more rare than the, just the drops, so yeah. Okay guys, now let's talk about special items you can get from quests. Each of the six NPCs have different items that you can get from doing their quests, and more. So, as you go around and do their quests, after you reach a certain amount of time, you will be able to get rewards from them. As you can see on the screen right now, it shows all the rewards you can get from all the quests. Okay guys, so as you may have heard, there's a special gun that you can get from doing quests. It is the OTS-14 Groza. If you go to the Russian objective, or the Russian NPC guy, and do 20 quests from him, you will get the OTS-14 Groza which is an assault rifle, all stats on it are currently unknown because not a single player besides developers currently own the weapon. So right now, there is no information out about the weapon, but we know that you have to do 20 quests to be able to get it, and each quest takes around 6 hours, so let's do some quick math real quick. Let's say that you can do 2 quests a day, it will probably take you around a week or two. So, uh, expect it to be a bit of a grind to get the special weapon. Otherwise, that's all when it comes to cosmetics. Okay, that's going to wrap it up. Thank you guys for watching. I will be sure to post more videos related to the new update and hopefully more videos in general. Alright, see you guys later.